It's a beautiful day to be alive and we're grateful to God Almighty for the gift of life. All right. So today's design, we're going to recreate this particular design from the Design King. Yes. The handle is D dot design dot king all right so you can follow him i'm going to drop the handle in the description of this video all right so we're going to create the design without further ado let's jump in right into it the size is 1024 1280 for the height do it to like this video so that one more person can see it just like you saw it do it to share it to your whatsapp status and let more people subscribe to this channel thank you so much for your support first thing we're going to do right now is to go head on here and we're going to make the background plain like this then we're going to bring in the original design right now so i'm going to come here i'm going to click on this so that we can at least maybe draw color from it all right so after we've gotten that we want to click here so it begins from maybe here so it says here the oven right the oven sorry the oven so the oven this is what it says the oven lens so I'm gonna to, going to use a long font like Bibas, one of my favorite long fonts. Right? Then you're just gonna drag it like this. Drag again. Let's put it right there. Alright, so we're gonna close it up. So line spacing will close it up towards this part here. Alright, then we we'll make it all black, 100 percent black. Alright, then we we'll just copy. Here is going to be the word lens. Okay. So we'll, use, we'll look for a script font that can be used. So let's go and look for a script font now. So um, the main script font here. So let's look for one. So let's go to this part here. Um, okay. All right. So see the one I'm using. Not so bad. But there are other ones. So use you can use any one that you want to use. Let's see this one. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. All right, so let's go with this. Wait till you they do me, bye bye. And thank you. All right, so so save our time. I'm going to use this. So we're going to pick the color from the original design, which is this one here. All right. You're going to pad in, and you pad this one out, and you pad this one out also. And you put this one right there. All right. All right. So we can increase it a little more. All right. Then, if you notice, I think this one can still increase it. So let's increase it a little more. I'll bring this one here. All right, so we can get this guy now, which is going to form a shape here where the our uh, services is going to be. In the design is it was quite big, so but we're not going to make our own so big because of the content. So we just rotate it like this. We'll come to gradient. The gradient are actually white and green. So we just come here, click on this. Where you have this dark color, you select the green from the original design. That's why I said sometimes you can pick a design for reference purpose. So for this one, we are going to use this. Right? So that's that. As you can see, then we're going to add an outline to it. Outline. So let's come over here. Do it to like this video and then you can share it with a friend. All right. So after that, after that, we can push it a little bit towards the side. You can come here where we have our services. So we can come here and type here our services. So we we'll use all caps. That is everything should be capital letter. All right, then we'll go and add a background to it. So come to this place where you have background. So we can have background to test. Use the red. Then just increase this to let's say 42 is too much. Okay, let's give it a 42. Means we'll bring this one here too. Then let's take it a little bit. Yeah, 15 is not bad. So let's go 15 again. All right, then we'll come to the radius and we can do it like this. All right, so that means we are going to change the color of the text to white so that it is seen. Then we can, we can increase that. So let's make it bold. 
so we can just bring it here like this so it is in this land so we just come here and do this all right it has a shadow so but let's leave that first then the next thing we want to do is to fix all those information that are there so we have this information here all right so after we fix it like this we just come over here and we'll click on this we'll put it there all right let's increase it a little more all right bring it there okay so i will use the, the black 100 percent here all right then The next thing we want to do is to um, come over here with another shape. This time it's going to be black. So we'll come here, we'll put the shape here like this. All right, make it small like that. And then we'll just do this. All right, so let's use, uh, it's actually black, but it's not 100% black. So let's come here, we'll, we'll, use, we'll use the black 100% here. So here like this. Therefore, for these parts of it, we're, gonna, we're not going to use 100% black. So we put it here like this. Oh, okay. So that's the whole deal. Then, if I come over here, I'll put it there. This one will go to the top. All right. So we'll just add an ad line to it so that it just bulges ads like that. Are you seeing that now? All right. Then the words over there is going to be this. We're going to type something here. I right, do it like the video. I'm gonna type here unlimited and sorry, it's not unlimited, unique, unique and quality guarantee. Guaranteed. Right? So we we'll come here, we'll make it bold. Alright, then we'll just come here. Okay, so we'll use yellow for the guaranteed to for contrast then we are going to use white for unique and quality i can see something that i need to be corrected all right do it like the video and tell me where you are watching from okay do you know that when you are creating designs there are different ways people decide or um, want to collect money from their client i have said it before but i want to reemphasize it maybe some person will be hearing it from me for the first time but you know one of the things you, be sh you should be thinking of or uh, considering when you want to take your design very, very serious is how do I collect my money, all right? How do I collect my money? Because you see, you see many people out there, there are, there are, they are going to scam you if you don't know what you're doing, all right? Many clients, many people out there, they're going to scam you. They're going to take advantage of you if you don't know what you're doing, all right? Because so that's why you must make sure that you know exactly what you are doing so how do you get your money so do you do you accept payments before you begin your design or you decide to finish your design before you are paid all right so some clients may want to say okay please we we you have to finish our work before we pay you some clients are like that they will say finish my work before i will pay you but you need to set your structure done okay if you want to do finish my mobile file pay for all kind of clients then be ready for problem i'm telling the truth if you're a freelancer and you want to do um, finish my work before i pay for all every kind of person that comes to you you are going to get into problem i'm telling the truth from experience that is why i'm advising you to ensure that your money is collected first before you begin any job any project so see so what i'm going to do right now. i'm going to click, click on shape I'm going to take this shape here, a triangular shape. Let's say this one, for example. So let's start, let's begin. So we're going to come here. Sorry, not, not that. We're going to come here. Let's pick this for some for first. What is it? This one. Okay. If you notice, part of it is cut. All right. So we, if we rotate it like this, this is what we get. If we rotate like this, we'll get. So I'm going to drag this. So you ensure that find a way to collect your money from your client. Just find a way. Because if you don't find a way to collect your money from your client, you will always be having issue with them. 
So you must find a way as a creative person to ensure that Omo, you collect your money because you don't want to hear stories. All right, you don't want to hear stories that ah, and this or that happened. No, besides why you must find a way to collect your money from your clients. So I'm going to add that line to this one. I will increase it like this. All right, I'm going to reduce it now, and we're going to bring it here. So like this. Don't worry, I'm going to reduce it. So bring it here. So ensure that you already already have a way when when you collect your money from your clients, so that you are not scammed or um, if I would say used and dumped, all right. So sometimes you can decide to say, okay, fifty percent deposit before I begin any job, all right. Fifty percent deposit before I begin any job. Then after we are done with the job, the job will be approved. All corrections have been made. Then we can do. Can I do? Okay, let's do. Um, let's do the balance, the other fifty percent. You get it now. All right, if you do it like that, it's not so bad. But if you do like, oh, let us work, finish. When the work is done, then you can pay your money. The truth is this. Some clients may not pay when the work is done. All right? When you give people too much privilege, like, privileges like that, some of them may want to take advantage of you. For example, you may, you may hear something like, um, 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 something like, okay, I don't like the design. Yes, you may hear something like that. I don't like the design, all right? If, per the client say, I don't like the design, what is your next line of action? And if you continue to do free designs like that, you can call the free designs. If you continue to do designs like that, what happens to you? You will burn out. I get me now. You will burn out. Because all the designs you're going to be doing for clients are going to be designs that we have issues with. So one person will tell you that, oh, I don't like the design. This one will tell you that, oh, the uh, your design is not fine. All right. If you continue to do that, you discover that you have waste. You are wasting your time. All right. You're wasting your time. All right. So if you continue to do that, you'll be wasting your time, and you don't want to waste your time as a as a creative. You don't want to waste your time. You want to ensure that you are getting value for your time. So that is the reason why I always advise that. If you know you can deliver, unless you are you are afraid of your work, you don't know yourself. If you know yourself, you know that I can deliver on this project, then what is stopping you from charging up front? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing stopping you from charging up front. Charge as you want to charge and ensure that you are paid very well for your services. All right? Ensure that you are paid very well for your services. All right? So me, I've worked with clients and... You know, uh, you you work with that people that you work with, and they will tell you. Uh, uh, there was a guy that came to me. In fact, this person was a creative. He didn't have the chance to do his design, and he came to me. And then he said, "Nee, uh, please do the design for me. I'm going to pay you." When when I check, when I look at it very well, it's fine. I'm going to pay you. And I looked at him. I said, "Hello, sir. Please excuse me. You are a creative. That is, you are a designer, All right? You you do you do something like you do. You are into what I do. So why was the need for you to come and meet me?" to tell me to create a design for you and you're going to pay me when you know the rules all right you know the rule you know how these things are you come to me you waste my time take all my time i spend let's say three hours or even more creating the design and then when i'm done with the design you just say thank you or you just say i don't like the design so when you say i don't like the design who is going to pay for my time you see that now who's going to pay for the time the time that you have wasted go to shadow my time that I've been wasted. You know, some people you don't you don't just value your time. So you give your time to every and every kind of person. But no, when people come like that, you want to let them know that your time is precious to you. All right. Your time is what? Precious to you. So let them pay for your time. Most of the time, what people are paying for is time. In some other foreign countries, right? In some foreign countries, people charge per time, per, per hour. That's how they charge most of the time. They don't charge you by your just maybe this and that. They charge you per hour. I'll be doing this job for three hours. I'll be doing this job for ten hours. This is how much I'm going to um, charge. All right. So that is how it is. So when people don't value your time like that, you want to ensure you want to let them know that what well, your time is very precious to you. All right. Time is very precious to you. So nobody should just be there wasting your time or that all like that. So ensure you collect your money. All right. So that you don't hear stories. You don't hear stories. There are clients that I don't, I may not apply this rule to because I know that there are people of value and integrity 
all right i have seen them i have known them i have worked with them so by virtue of my working with them i have come to know them as re clients that that don't that will not maybe carry your money and disappear all right whereas there are some that may do that so that's why you must be careful especially the ones that are new all right the client that are coming to you for the first time you want to be careful not to just throw your trust here and there you want to be careful so that nobody scams you all right so you have to be very very careful ensure that you trust people they have worked with you for a good number of time before you can give them that privileges of okay let let's design it i'll pay you later all right that kind of person that kind of those kind of clients a client that okay you have worked with for for a long time all right you've earned their trust and they have also earned your trust that way it is balanced but a client that is coming to you for the very first time both of you have not done anything before and the client is saying that do the design i'm going to pay you it's it's it's, it's, it's not it's, it's difficult all right it's difficult for people to just trust like that all right so that's why you need to be very very careful so you have to be very 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 quick here stickers you have to be very very careful all right so there are even clients that have um titles all right it doesn't matter don't be moved by title. There was, a, there was a client that came to me the other time. He said that he's a, he works with Sabinos and uh, this and that and that. And he was telling me a lot of things about himself. You no, know, don't let all those things move you just easily like that. Because there are people that will come with those kind of um, things and they don't want to scam you. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Uphold your standard. Right, your policies. If you have policies that you work with as a person, uphold those policies and make sure you are working with them. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Niyi Amuda. Make sure you find a way. Let me bring this, this guy to the front. Make sure you always find a way to collect your money, please. Make sure you always find a way to collect your money. Because if you don't collect your money, all right? If you don't collect your money, bring this to the front. If you don't collect your money as a designer, you are wasting your time. And you don't want to waste your time. You want to ensure that you are always collecting your money. So find a way to always collect your money. Are you getting me now? Don't do designs for free. Don't do designs for free. Ensure that you collect your money. If you are here and your client is owing you money, maybe, you know, sometimes when they come, some client comes with so many rush, with urgency. And then I need the design, nah, nah, nah. I need the two hours. And then two hours time, you are done. You have submitted your design. And three days, four days, one week, they are giving you stories. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not at the bank now. I'm sorry. I will go to the bank later to pay the money. They are giving you stories. That is because you cost it. No client should be owing you money. Your design skill is too time consuming and um, important. Your time is too precious for that kind of a thing. All right. Thank you so much. Let me know what you learned from this video. And let me know where you are watching from. My name is Niyi Amuda, and I will see you in the next video.